Hey guys and gals, Xavier here for Hum of the Earth. Signing in from Warsburg, Germany. Situated in the region of Franconia, which is in Bavaria, Germany. It's a city of only a hundred and thirty thousand inhabitants but it's a city with a lot of history and a lot to see let's get to it <laughs> Orsburg is a very old city it was originally uh, constructed by the Celtic people and then taken over by the Alemanni in the 4th or 5th century and then conquered by the Franks in the 6th or 7th century and then following that um, power of uh, authority over Warsburg uh, shifted many times in the various uh, wars and historical events. We're now looking at the residence palace which used to be the residence of the prince bishop it was built in the uh, 1700s i say 1700s because it began being built in the early part of the century and then um, finished in the well the structure of it in in the middle of the century but a lot of the art and finer details of it uh, in the latter part of the century. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And apparently it has some really neat things to see inside. So Let's see if we can get in. The St. Killian Cathedral. The version that we see today was built in the early 11th century and is one of the largest Romanesque church buildings in Germany. The site of the cathedral is where the first church in Warsburg was built back in 788. I believe the 
White Tower over here is the town hall. Place called Market Square, which up until the 14th century was a Jewish quarter, which was destroyed during the devastating persecution of the Jews following a plague outbreak in 1349. This square has been a marketplace since the Middle Ages. Today it is a also a market as you can see, but also holds events for the city. The square's church, the church Marien Capelli, is considered a masterpiece of late Gothic architecture in Franconia. So now we are on the old bridge, which connects the uh, historic part of town, town center to what used to be the Fisherman's Quarter, today Main Viatel. bridge overlooks the main river as well as the fortress Marienburg. The Celtic people have actually had a church here since as far back as 1000 BC and since then there was many uh, reiterations, reconstructions churches getting torn down and rebuilt. The version that we see today was last completed in 1990 because the previous version, which looked uh, very similar, was almost completely destroyed during World War II. In fact, much of Warsburg was um, severely damaged during the bombings of World War II by the hands of uh, British bomber planes. On March 16, 1945, about 90 90% of the city was destroyed in 17 minutes by British 225 British Lancaster bombers during a World War II air raid. Warsburg was a target because of its role as a traffic hub and to break the spirit of the population. And over the next 20 years, all of the buildings of historical importance were rebu rebuilt with painstaking accuracy. Today, Warsburg's main center is administration, given that it is the capital of the region. 
There's also a lot of administrative work, uh, workers employed by the university and the municipality. There's also a large printing company which was actually founded soon after uh, Frederick Koenig and Andreas Bauer uh, had invented the world's first steam-driven printing press manufacturer in 1817 here in Wurzburg. The city also produces wine and beer. Which isn't uncommon in Bavaria. So I hope you've enjoyed this city tour and history of Wurzburg here in Bavaria, Germany. I've also uh, made another video on this channel called Journey Through Bavaria, Germany, where I bicycle through this part of the country. Got to see a lot of cool places and it was uh, a fun adventure. And I'll also be doing some other videos of a few other uh, cities and towns in Bavaria coming up on the channel. I was here as part of a journey bicycling through Central and Eastern Europe. Before that, I bicycled from Cape Town, South Africa to Ni Nairobi, Kenya. And before that, from Canada, where I'm from, to Southern Patagonia in Argentina. And all those video videos are available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. And if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I got to go and everything that I got to see and do, I have that available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com, where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of these places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures bicycling through Central and Eastern Europe, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.